Welcome back to the MeasureScore Multifamily Tutorials. This video will walk you through creating and how to apply products to this multifamily unit. At the top of the product service panel, you have the product service database where you can use the sample list we provide or you can create your own database. Just below the database, we have the project items, which represents your finished list. As you apply your product to your project, the finished list will start the estimation of all product usage. If you need to create an item for a one-off, you can do so in this section. Start by clicking the blue plus icon. Enter the number SKU or product name and select the type. We are creating a carpet item called CPT1 and the type will be carpet. The color will be green and the roll will be 12 foot. If you have any repeats, you can enter them here. Enter the pricing info and any associated items you would like to add on, such as a padding or an adhesive. Once that is done, you can click save in the bottom right. Next, we will create a tile. Click on the blue plus sign and then start a new product. Enter the information and select tile as the type. The color is purple and the measurement will be 12 inches by 12 inches. In the estimating info of our tile template, you also have a section called calculation method. This will let us choose different options of how we want to calculate our tile to lay into our project to make sure we don't come up short. As a default, this will be set to waste add-on. This means you can simply set a percentage over the net area of the space where the tile will go to give us some extra for our project. For this project, we will go ahead and choose 5%. Note, a good starting point is typically somewhere between 5 to 10% depending on your product size. If we click on the calculation method drop down, we will see some other options as well. You will see that we have the option for half reuse, which allows the program to try and reuse remnants of a tile that are 50% or greater. Cut and fit will allow the program to try and reuse remnants of a tile that are smaller than 50%. No reuse will tell the program to assume that each piece in a room will not be reused no matter how much of the tile remains. Now let's create a linear item. This wall base will be four inches wide and the color will be yellow. Now that we are done creating the items, we can start to apply them to our project. Similar to applying doors with the left click and left click to drop function, you will follow this process for all of your products. First, let's apply the carpet to the rooms, living room, all of the closets, and lastly, the stairs that are off to the side of your project. Second, let's apply all the tile products to the kitchen, bathrooms, and washer room. And lastly, let's apply the wall base to all of the rooms. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for future videos and tutorials for all MeasureScore products.